Hello, friends. Welcome to the 2020 presidential debate streaming live from my combination podcast studio toaster oven. My name is Joe Rogan, but most of my listeners know me as the father that they never had. To my right is our current president. He's been snorting Adderall in my flotation tank for the past 45 minutes. Donald Trump. Thank you so much for having me inside of this giant tanning bed. I heard you don't get very many views on this radio cast, but after this, you'll get billions of views. You're welcome. And to my left, freshly thawed from the cryogenic chamber they keep him in, former Vice President Joe Biden. Look, here's the deal. They said I couldn't do a debate, but Kamala's been shooting me in the ass with his medicine straight from Columbia. DMT? I believe the medicinal name is cocaine. It's terrific. So let's start with COVID-19. How do we get out of this pandemic safely so people can get back to their jujitsu classes? Look, here's the deal, Mr. Reagan. It's Rogan. No onions, please. But we got to listen to science people about the mask. You can't touch your face. And I can't touch your face. I would love to touch your face. Whoa. And social distancing, I know it's tough, okay? I don't want to be six feet away from you. If anything, I want to be within six inches of you at all times. So the China virus, it's really not that bad. We have 200,000 deaths, but these people, they were already dead. The fake news media, they won't tell you they were already dead too. And you know what? If you ask China, you should really ask China, okay? Because they gave us a Chinese virus and I ordered the Chinese chicken. It doesn't make any sense. How about climate change? It's getting hot out there, but not hot enough to create any heat shock proteins, which are actually really good for your body. Look at the fires in California. Sorry, California. They're great fires. Really fantastic fires. Very hot. Some would even say the hottest fires. Not a lot of fires get this hot. They want you to believe it's because of climate change. It's not because of climate change. It's because of the little tree hands that fall on the forest floor and they scrape together and cause mischief. You mean leaves? No, I'm talking about the tree hands that grow on the tree arms. Hey, Jamie, what's the politically correct term for tree arms? Uh, yeah, looks like those are called branches. Hey, Jamie, why don't you pull up a pussy and grab it? Because you've probably never done that before. <laughs> So now what we need to do is we need to clean up these forests. We need to sweep them. We need to mop them. Maybe even use a Swiffer. We have to clean these tree hands before they explode. Look, I remember back when I was just a young English muffin, growing up in Scranton, Transylvania. We were surrounded by vampires. And the vampires, they don't like the sun. And if we keep doing climate changes, we're going to make the sun go night-night. And that would not be terrific. Well, unemployment is at an all-time high. And what we're seeing is all these people without jobs. Just a bunch of unemployed chimpanzees, man, running around yelling at other jobless chimpanzees while we're all standing on this planet, man, this, this tiny little rock that's just hurtling through the infinite void of space, man. So how do you fix the economy? Well, let me tell you a story that I'm going to piece together the way Christopher Nolan wrote the movie Memento. I remember back in the 40s when the economy was really booming. The 1940s? No, the 1840s. Back when I was a boy, panning for gold in California. And my father, he sat me down. He said, Joey, you're going to grow up. You're going to do great things. And that's when my buddies Corn Pop and Lucy Goose they came out of the bushes. And they were wearing a turtle. And I took one look at the turtle. I said, hey, that turtle ain't got no bones. And it goes the same way for the color yellow. It's my favorite. Look, the economy is better than we've ever seen it before. It is doing fantastic. Pretty soon, America will have all the jobs in the world. If you want a job, you come to America, but you're not allowed in. We have the best jobs like engineering, delivery, blow. The best jobs are in America now. You're welcome. Well, folks, that does it for part one of the 2020 presidential debate. That's right. One of these old dudes is going to be president of a country man hey jamie pull up an ounce of mushrooms i need a break from reality 